All right, today the bell housing is turned up. So it's come with the quick time bell housing. Uh, what else is in there? Oh, a new spigot bush. Some instructions, don't need them. Nuts and bolts, might need them. Backing plate. Is it? Oh yeah, sweet. measurements now um, then I'll send to Malwood he's gonna um, make one of these up to the correct size to have the right amount of play between the thrust bearing and the actual pressure plate uh, so I gotta measure the face of this back in to the bearing and then the, from the face of the block back out to the pressure plate springs and then yeah, send those measurements off to him So pull that out. Is it hard on it? Yep. Alright, hold it there. Don't don't pull it now. Yep. Okay, let's have a look what it is. How many mils? 60.6. No. You sure? Or 66. Yeah. 66. Alright, now we need to do that on the motor. Just taking this flow off now so I can put the... Um, I've already loosened all these. I can and, um, put the backing plate on and get a true measurement from where the actual gearbox will sit against the... the that housing will actually sit against the box, other block. And then, yeah, got to send that all off. And get the slave made up. All right, so we're running to the first problem. So that's all lined up with the block holes, but the actual um, oil crank seal housing doesn't actually fit through the hole. So we're gonna have to um, trim that up to be able to sit on there neatly. All right, so I've marked up where I need to cut out. So I'll cut that out now. All right, so that fits up nicely now. Um, now we just need a bow housing on. Oh, sorry, put the flywheel and clutch and all that back in on. And then measure from there back to the fingers on the pressure plate. And then they'll use that measurement that we got before and that one to work out the play that they want between the slave and the fingers on the pressure plate. So I've brought a bolt to use as a punch because they're a quarter of the price. Uh, I've just got to cut the thread off because that shoulder is the right diameter I need for the punch. 
And then I use that to get the spigot bush out. The perfect punch. All right, we're gonna scratch the bolt idea. It's, um, the one I got is, has a little bit of movement between the bush and the bolt, so I reckon the grease is just gonna splat out. But I've seen um, my 11 mil socket with the extension in where the nut would usually go. So it doesn't have much room for the grease to go. Fits perfect in there. So we're gonna try to fill it with grease and then whack that in there. Hopefully it does the job. So we just cleaned out all the grease that was left in there. It's now ready uh, for the new bush to go in. So this is the custom bush to suit the, I think it's a custom one, but yeah, to suit the TR60 spigot. And I'll just tap that in. And it's good to assemble the clutch and whatnot back on. And that's the spigot bush in. Alright, so that's the clutch back together. Just need to put the pressure plate on and then torque all the bolts down and then measure back from the block. So straight off there down to the pressure plate fingers. Okay, I'm just talking up pressure plate bolts now. And then we'll get the measurements. Alright, that's the pressure plate bolts all torqued up. Clutch is nice and warm. Thanks to Richard Lazar for his awesome custom tool out of one of his old boxes. She's mine. But yeah, she's um. So I've taken all the measurements now. Bell housing's all bolted up, and we just have to wait now for Malwood to send the new clutch slave out. Um, and the shift to get till next time. Doo -doo -doo.